These Pokemon boxes right here will never come out in the English TCG. They just came out a couple of months ago over in China as a Chinese exclusive Evolution GX gift box set. But when you see what's inside, you'll be blown away as to how sick and well thought out these Evolution gift boxes are. Alrighty, but let's open up one of these puppies right here and I'll show you exactly what you get inside. So you get this beautifully laid out box. Like literally, it, like Umbreon is everywhere on this thing. So that's gonna open up this box right here and let's do it. What are we gonna get inside? Ooh. Oh my, this is so premium. It's ridiculous. As if this is an official Pokemon TCG product. You get your GX Rainbow Rare Umbreon then you get your two wide GX like sun and moon sets. Then you get your Umbreon sleeves. But all of this stuff, right? Even though that Rainbow Rare Umbreon right here sells for a ridiculous amount. Look what's under here. This is the gold mine. This is why people are buying it. Because of the premium Umbreon exclusive binder. And this binder isn't just your regular binder. The pages are the same color and accents as literally Umbreon. Is that not the sickest thing in the entire world? All right, let's have a look at the Glaceon one now. And I love, actually, you know what? I said the Leafeon's my favorite, but this color scheme might be one of the uh, the better ones. Probably my favorite part, it's probably the Rainbow Rare right here, because this is just such an exclusive Rainbow Rare. Oh, yo, look at the light blue. What's the sleeve uh, color on the inside? So then, yeah, as I thought, it's more like light blue. Oh, this is, I am so happy I bought this. Alrighty, let's do uh, all three at once, actually. Let's find out. Got the Leafeon, Espeon, and Sylveon. And just quickly, guys, today's video is actually made possible by the legends over at HelloFresh. Now, pretty much, if you've never heard of HelloFresh before and you're thinking, what exactly is inside of this box? Well, basically, you can go on their website and pick from all of these pre-designed and portioned out perfectly meals. And the best part is you can not only modify how many people you're trying to feed, but you can also modify the delivery time for your box so it can just arrive whenever you like. Alright, so it looks like for this week, I've actually ordered a quick sticky beef maple rice bowl. Then we've got the beef cheeseburger and fries. Oh my goodness, that looks fantastic. And it, oh yeah. And then it ends on the chocolate macadamia cookies. And if you're thinking, Ando, I'd love to start a HelloFresh or give it a go, I've got the perfect offer for you. If you use my code in the description, HF unlistedly, you get $200 off. And for everyone that's used HelloFresh in the past and thinking, I want to get back into it, well guys, my code applies to you as well. And to be honest, I'm so hungry. I think I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to make a HelloFresh by uh, quickly whipping out the cookies right here. So let's head to the kitchen and make some chocolate macadamia cookies in like two seconds. I'm gonna say we did pretty good. They look pretty much identical, but now we do the, uh, let's do the taste test right here. Oh yeah, that's it. Okay, we're back, back to the studio. Yay! Oh, gorgeous. Uh, oh my goodness, they did put the sleeves in. Are you, are you serious? Oh, that was close. Okay, let's have a look in here. I'm gonna say the leather or whatever they use here, the pleather, this looks insanely smooth. I'm sorry this became a binder channel, but I'm sorry. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh my gosh. This is, oh look, it falls down. No way, the sleeves are opened. Oh my, <laughs> what is going on? Okay, I love the product. It's fantastic, but what's going on here? So we're just going to leave our Sylveon sleeves there and open up our Sylveon binder, which I think, look at that. Look how cute that is. Let's open this up. Oh, it's white. I didn't, I, you know what? I did expect that a little bit. It's a lot of white and Sylveon. Alrighty, and then my personal favorite evolution. I think, you know what? Surpassing Umbreon, just because of the artwork recently, it's got to be Leafeon. Look at this. Put this with our other uh, rainbow rares we've got. <gasps> the green. Unlisted leaf green, guys. Come on. Are you kidding me? Glo like, it's grass mossy green. A, this is what I call booger green, actually. This is amazing. Oh, and by the way, everyone leave a comment in the comment section below because I'm going to pick out 10 winners, 10 individual comments. You can live wherever in the world, and I'm going to send you out 
one of these envelopes, which is a happy Chinese Lunar New Year, very fitting. And inside of one of these envelopes, I'm gonna put a random TCG card from my collection. And then if you wanna know if you've won, just go to unlistedleaf.com and the winners are always listed on my website. Oh my goodness, I don't know if you're looking at the same boosters as I am, but these are all the packs that were included in the EV Premium gift boxes. But basically, Pokemon thought if we're gonna launch the TCG over in China, we wanna ease them into it. We don't wanna just jump them straight into like Scarlet and Violet. So we're gonna give them a bunch of Sun and Moon Frankenstein sets. So they came out with this set right here. And are you looking at this booster? This is absolutely epic. So not only has it got a Charizard on the front, but every single pack inside of this set contains 25 Pokemon cards. So this is the Rayquaza version, which has an additional 151 cards. It's basically its own sort of set, but it's all in the same like 1B. And then this is the third set in the same variation with another 151 cards. I don't know if you understood any of that, but basically this is a mega Pokemon booster with 25 cards inside. It's got Charizard on the front and it comes from China, which it just released in. So let's see if we can't get the Charizard inside of here. And to be honest, I wouldn't even be mad if Pokemon came out with something like this. Oh, they've got the same English backing. That's- Oh, whoa! I reckon we're guaranteed a bunch of holo cards out of here. Now, keep in mind, if you leave a comment in today's video, I'm going to give away 10 different giveaways in those lucky bags. So everyone, if you want some of these cards, let me know. I obviously don't need a bunch of common and uh, uncommon Chinese cards, but I'd love to get a couple of ultra rare ones. Look at this! We're getting some good throwback artworks. We've got Moltres there, Unknown. Oh, the trainers are huge in this set too, I should mention. EXP share. What are we going to get? All right, Stakatica right there as the GX ball. I'm not going to be mad at a regular GX. I love that they're starting in Sun and Moon. Victini. This could go well. Do we get another big hit or not really? Whoa, look at the reverse pattern, I guess. Yeah, so you get two reverses. This is actually a gorgeous pattern. Look at that. All right, so that's the Charizard version. And I think besides the Charizard, there's also a Sol Galio card that we could get in here as well. Um, as the big chase card and obviously in the Rayquaza set you want to get the Rayquaza full lot and in the Sylveon set you want to get the Sylveon But let's uh, open up all our Charizard boosters and see what we can't get see what our best pull is hopefully a full art card I reckon that's the uh, the goal for today's episode as many Chinese ultra rares as possible I don't know about you guys, but I find it just so interesting the way oh my gosh They've just selected the best artwork. We got Charmander I suppose actually you gotta have Charmander in there if you're gonna put a big Charizard card as the big hit You gotta have the uh, starters but yeah, I think I, the way they've launched this TCG over in China is perfect. Uh, Sun and Moon had a really, really nice couple of cards, and it's going to lead so perfectly when Skull and Violet does come out over there. They'll be so excited because they'll see the update progression, uh, probably in light speed. It'll happen so quickly. Oh, so do we not get a uh, GX card in every... Oh, we do. Okay, Typhlosion. <laughs> That was a nice Typhlosion. I thought we didn't get a GX card for a minute. I was like, oh, so you're not guaranteed it. I think you are. So we got a Genesect GX. Just the placement was different there. And then you get two reverse cards per pack. So two holo cards, one GX, and two reverse cards. Let's do it. Let's open up a Rayquaza Mega Pack. I'm kind of digging it. It's almost like a God Pack, but it's really, really well laid out. Like a Japanese holiday set, it's pretty much like. Got that Pinsir, got the Trico. This is good. Gloom. What can we get here? Come on, Togedemaru looking good. Got Cast Form. Firo, Charger Bug, Miltank, Rotom mowing the grass. And what can we get as our GX pool? Can we get a... Imagine we get a full art Rayquaza. <gasps> oh, Shuckle, I saw the green. My heart stopped for a minute, but it's a Shuckle GX. I'll take that one. 170 HP. It's really nice. Like, they haven't skimped out. It doesn't feel like a fake card. I think the worst for me is the Korean um, TCG. When I opened that set, it's so thin. I think the way they make the cards is very cheap. So that feels more like a fake set, but... These cards do feel like English cards. They're probably a smidge thinner, but we'll see how we go. All right, so we got a Sylveon right here. I wonder what they put in the Sylveon set. I think in the Rayquaza, the other card I really wanted to get here was the Letheon Full Art card. But for this one, let's aim for the Sylveon. He's on the front of the pack. I'll be pleasantly surprised, oh, Zygarde, by anything else that we get. But I think it's just fascinating looking through this stuff. Quagsire, that's really random. Alolan Sandslash, all right. Got a double colorless energy. Suicune, I'll take the Suicune. Then a Gyarados as well. And a Mimikyu as the GX. All right, this is looking really good. Man, the recap at the end is going to be fantastic. I'm going to put them all inside of a binder or something. 
including I'm going to open up all of the uh, rainbow rare ultra rares that we got. I just love the texture on those uh, full art cards, which makes me think that if we manage to pull a full art today, the texture is going to look bonkers as well. Because it's just like the reverses look really good in the uh, Chinese TCG and we'll never see that reverse pattern in the English. I think the same will be with the full arts. We'll never see the same pattern in English, but it'll be really, really nice in this version of the TCG. What do we got here? Oh, I reckon it with something. Come on. Ah, oh, Snorlax GX. Do you remember this? I'm getting kind of nostalgic, which is really weird to say because Sun and Moon was not that long ago. All right, so we got Snorlax GX. Very nostalgic. He's literally possessed. I'll take it. Big Snorlax. Then we got the Gyarados and our two reverse cards. Back to the Charizard. Surely it's not this hard to try and get something out of uh, <laughs> out of this set. The full arts are really like few and far in between. I would have thought with 25 cards, you can easily pull something. But maybe the reason they did go with 25 cards per booster is because they want uh, more people to pick up the competitive aspect of the game, which wouldn't surprise me as well. If they're trying to introduce the TCG to China, the way to get like more people into it is to get more people playing and they need a lot of cards. So why not give them 25 cards per booster? Oh, not too bad. I never get the pronunciation of this uh, Pokemon right, but like Nihilego or Nihilego, everyone's favorite jellyfish. So we'll put the GX at the back and we're just getting like a stack of these GXs right now. And we're nearly done with the pile. Like look how fast we went through all this. And this is 25 cards per pack. This set is a bit more uh, put together, and I can explain that one a little bit better, I think, once we've gone through all of these. Chikorita looking good, Grimer, Pachirisu, Spider-Man's uh, little web injectors there, Eevee, Rotom! Come on, we've got another Rotom! How many Rotoms can we get? Oh, Oh, can you see this? There's a little, like, Pokemon embossing, like, down the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. I didn't realize that. Is that- that's on every card. So that's how you can tell it's, like, an official Chinese Pokemon TCG product. Someone did point that out to me before, and it's on the GX's too, look at this. We go, oh, whoa, 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 there we go. Okay, so this is a bit of a, uh, like, Hidden Fates, Shining Fates action right here. All right, let's put you to the side, and we've got our GX, Alolan Muck. All right, final Sylveon, let's go. All right, we're literally, this is a halfway. We've nearly demolished all of these Mega Packs right now, and we still haven't seen a single full up, but we have started to pull a Shiny, which shows there is plenty to get. Zygarde, I mean, 151 times three, that is a ridiculously big set list. We've got Toucan Sam, and then, come on! Can we get something? Oh, it's a Lola Ninetales right there, Ninetales GX. Oh, sugar, oh, sugar! Boom, it's our first one! It's another Alolan Ninetales, but this time, it is a gorgeous GX full art. And there you go, look at the texture. Someone was telling me, like, they're different layers. Like, it's printed on four separate layers, so you can see how much it rises out of the card. And I think that just makes me treasure these full art cards even more. That's gorgeous. Okay, Ninetales, you go at the back. Thank goodness we pulled at least one. I also wonder if you get the GX and the Full Art together in every pack, or if that's just really convenient luck that we just got. You guys gotta let me know though, does anyone collect the Chinese TCG in the comment section, or do you have any interest in seeing more of these openings? I totally understand if you're not too interested, because I know the Japanese openings aren't crazy popular, um, but if you are, like, I'd also be fascinated. Why are you collecting it? What's the number one thing you're going after? I think as a brand new format of the TCG, it's always fascinating to me to at least check out one or two items. Come on, the fuller card's gonna be behind these hollows, I reckon. All right, oh, that's pretty good. I gotta say, a Zekrom is fantastic. Hey, no, what the heck? Are you serious? How do we double, are you kidding? Out of this entire 600 card cross-section bonanza, we go and get the same card? The same shiny card? Oh man, all right, so we got a Zekrom GX, which I was excited about, that's pretty good. And then look at this. We go and get the exact same shiny. <sighs> That's all right, let's keep it going. It's not like we're running out of boosters or anything. Surely we're gonna get something else. I swear, if we double up on the full art card, I'm done. I'm jumping out that window right there and greeting the neighbors from the second story. This is something else. Come on, Clado, Quagsire. Don't give me a double up on the full art card. Bicycle, and then, oh, that's pretty good. All right, this is not bad. Oh, I thought for a minute it was a double up, but I will take this 100%. This is on the like top tier of what I wanted. This is a fantastic pull. This is something I really, really don't mind at all. And the fact we've already got the full up with this many packs remaining, I reckon we could get one more. Yeah, I would take the Articuno GX for sure. I wonder if this is like a really, really big hit. 
because I don't know what any of these resale for. I haven't checked like eBay listings or sold pricing. I just kind of look up the set list and be like, all right, that's what's kind of in this set. It's just a Frankenstein of a lot of different um, English sets and that's about it. So maybe that's like an amazing pour and we just don't know it. Someone in the comment section will be freaking out. All right, so we've got the Torchic, the Ferro Seed, the Gumi. Come on, Porygon. Let's go for gold. I don't know, is there a gold card that we could potentially get? Ah, oh, whoa. So not only is the artwork super colorful, but look how much that Pokemon logo stands out down the bottom. I really hope the camera's picking that up because I think that's a nice touch. Are you joking? Prism cards? I didn't know the prism cards were in this thing too. All right, I suppose like that this is the era, so why not? Why would they get rid of them, I guess? Let's put that at the back. And then again, our two reverses. Fourth to last booster, but silver lining? It's a Rayquaza pack. This is good news. Okay, Chikorita right there. And then we got Ninjask. Alright, we got Voltorb. Come on, Grimer. Skitty, Dratini, Eevee as well, Dragonair. There's something behind here. I can see a bit of like dark texture on the card up the top. What are we going for? Don't tell me it was just the holy card. No, it's definitely not. Yes, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a crazy, crazy hit for sure. I didn't realize that this is kind of like Shining Fates, uh, Hidden Fates for the Chinese TCG. That's nuts. Oh my goodness. We just went and pulled a Shining Umbreon full of GX. Because look at this. Oh my goodness, no way. I'm gonna get both of those out and put them in the Umbreon binder, which I have as well. That is fantastic. What are the chances of getting the shiny GX Umbreon? Everyone, you have to stay tuned to the recap at the end because that's gonna be off the charts. So now we've got the final three of like one of each kind of set right here. And this is the moment. If they're gonna come through with a big hit, now's the time. No, no pressure or anything, all right? No pressure. Oh gosh. Okay, the uh, right-hand side was way better. Two full of cards so far, and they're both gorgeous. Articudo and Umbreon Shiny. Can we get another Shiny card? Rotom right there. <gasps> That's right, Ho-Ho's in this set as a full art. Because it was Charizard or Ho-Ho, I think, as the two full arts you'd want to get. And I bet it's the gorgeous, colorful-looking one, too. Typhlosion. <gasps> mm, okay, it's regular GX. I got too excited. I was expecting something else. Oh, Sugar! All right. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down, another shiny we don't have. I'll take it. So we got uh, Genesect right there. Beautiful. And then it looks like if you get a shiny, it takes the spot of the reverse, but that makes sense. Last Rayquaza one. This would be the big fan favorite. I think you guys would just be really keen to see what's inside of the Rayquaza packs. So let's put you to the back. All right, so we got a Ninjask. What are we gonna get? Got a Pinsir, Geodude. Oh, shout out to Mareep at the back. I don't know where he's gone. He's hiding right there. And then we got Spiro. Got Firo as well. Got the Fidget Spinner, which is funny. It's a Pokemon card. Come on, the Rayquaza pack copycat right there. It's got to have something good. Golosopod. Hey, we got a Rayquaza out the Rayquaza pack. Oh, I'm so happy this is like how we're ending these like massive boosters because they were such a fun like idea. So I didn't want them to go out with a bit of a dud. But look, the fact we got the Rayquaza and the Guzzlord that's opened like too many packets of Cheetos, eating them all at once. He's got the Cheeto fingers, like the evidence is there. So let's put those to the side and we get our final mega pack. What can we get out of the Sylveon? It's thick with like five separate C's. So let's open this puppy up and see if we can't get one more shiny card. Imagine we get the Sylveon, that would be nuts. Then again, actually, I just want to, I just want a regular full art. Just give me more textured stuff. Got the Snubble, got the Swablu. What can we get, Whimsicott? Don't fail me now, Rotom. I reckon there might be something. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice Alteria right here. And then behind, oh, Tapa Lele. And a Prism, Volcanion. Jeez, I'm getting such throwback vibes. Like I barely remember these Pokemon cards, but when I see them, it's like, I sort of have one of those like Winter Soldier moments where I just remember everything. Wigglytuff looking gorgeous and Loudred. But now it's on to the other set right here. So I think the really awesome part about the Eevee boxes was the fact they included two sort of sets right there. The Mega Packs, which are a lot of fun and you get your shining cards out of them, but it seems like the full are really hard to pull. Then you get this set, which I think is called like Battle Arena or Battle Elite. And inside of here, it's a pretty stock standard Sun and Moon set where the rarest card you want to get is a Lukia GX Full Art. That would be like, oh, what the heck? Are you guaranteed a GX in every one? I definitely, I thought this set was like not one of these crazy holiday sets. I mean, you get the trainers. 
Are you serious? So you get six cards per pack. Is that for real? And you get a guaranteed GX or did we get really lucky on the first booster? Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I There's not that much Chinese opening around, so I don't really know. Like, it's so undocumented, which I think is what I love because these aren't really regularly uploaded to YouTube. Let's see if we get another GX guaranteed. A prism. So are we always going to get a like really rare card and then two normal cards behind it. So maybe the card trick's like two from the back. Let's have a look here. So we got our Diglett, we got our Horsey. Then we get, I mean, yeah, okay. So it's going to be a hollow or better, I reckon, in that slot. So then the card trick must be two from the back. What an interesting little set. But from what I read of the card list, it's all pretty straightforward. Like Dust Wings and Dust Maiden Necrozma are the ones to get. They're the really sought after cards. Lugia seems like it's the most popular one. So Galio is also in this thing as a fuller card. Um, but I haven't seen a picture of it. I haven't seen photographic evidence of anyone pulling it. Again, very undocumented. So I have to say we just open up these boosters and see what we can uh, hope for. Wait, are you serious? We're already doubling up. Oh, because it's only like a 60 card big set. Okay, so that's not that crazy rare then. So the holo cards are pretty stock standard. Interesting. So there must be a very small amount of chase cards. But surely with us buying every single Eevee box, we're going to get something. Toracat? Hey, No, it's Blacephalon. That's all right. You got to take it because look. It's the mascot of the flippin' set. I gotta say, they, they could probably do a bit more fun stuff with the front of the booster. That's a very simple artwork. That's like a uh, Ando in year 12 knocking up his uh, school assignment on the front of the boosters. What do you think? They could go a bit more crazy on the artwork? Just like a purple background and they stuck the uh, regular image of Blacephalon on the front. Okay, open this one up. Let's go two from the back. Let's do the actual card trick and see what we can't get. We got a charm. Come on, horsey with the goods. Oh, okay. Getting back to our holo grind, but I'm going to take anything that's not the double up of the holo card. These packs are a little bit easier to open up than Japanese boosters. Cosmog. Hey, Kingdra. I wonder how they selected all these GX cards. I wonder what the uh, thought process was here. Good amount of GXs, though. Hey, I love this artwork. All the starters on there. I'm really worried, though. Like, we've only got five packs after this one. Couple of GXs. Got a horsey, a Absol, all right. And then our two trainers, oh gosh. There are a lot of trainers on the um, on the full art card list as well. So maybe like we're, we're hunting too much for a Pokemon trainer. Maybe we should be looking for like, I, ha I have noticed as well on the, um, oh my gosh, it's Giratina as well. On the set list on the computer I was just reading, it was saying there's a bunch of trainer full arts. Apparently this like this set right here is very trainer centric um, for the full art cards and there's not that many Pokemon full art cards. So maybe we're trying to channel the wrong type of card. We should be like really trying to hone in on getting a full art trainer of some kind. Toracat, Mount Fuji again. This is what I want in ultra rare form. Okay, I'd take either Dusk Wings or Dusk Mane. Four is still doable for a crazy Pokemon card pull. Okay, so we got a Horsey. And then, oh no, go, no, 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 no. I don't wanna, I don't wanna see that. I don't want a Chinese Tapa Coco Prism card. All right, you're going to the back right there. I'm gonna have two trainers. Okay, let's just not double up on that. That'd be, uh, that'd be horrific. Swing it around, Toracat, Amolga. Oh, okay, another regular GX with two boosters remaining. Zerora, let's put you at the back. Second to last one, Blacephalon. Come on. It's not like Endo's getting desperate or anything. Cosmog. <laughs> no, are you joking me? Oh my gosh. This is terrible. I knew, I knew as soon as I said I didn't want to double, I'm like, it's going to happen. This is the final pack though of our Chinese opening. I hope you guys enjoyed it, but keep watching because not only am I going to give you guys a recap of uh, all the cards we just pulled, which is a lot of them, by the way, I'm going to put them inside of the cool binders we just got and show you a couple of the giveaway items that you could win by leaving a comment. And that Giratina Holo is the final pull of the opening. And that right there was the Chinese Evolution gift boxes, which I absolutely loved. You guys are gonna let me know which one was your favorite in the comment section. And I'm gonna pick a bunch of comments to take home a few of these cards we opened up today because we got so many awesome hits and I think I'm just gonna put them in the red envelope and send them out. So check unlistedleaf.com to see if you've won. But we've also gotta open up the Rainbow Rare baggies because each promo card that came with each box 
also has a randomly inserted EV card behind it. Now this EV card could be either of these two regular EV promo cards or it could be the full art alternate artwork card which I think is the one everyone wants. So I opened up my EV rainbow rare and we got the regular promo and I thought you know what this is going to be a difficult task. But then I opened up the Sylveon, my second Rainbow Rare baggie, and we pulled it! I can't believe it! So now I've got all the Rainbow Rares plus the alt art. I was so happy I can put that in my binder. And then we opened up the rest of the Rainbow Rares, but we end up getting the other uh, Eevee promo card. So I didn't even mind that the rest are regular promos, because now I've got all three. That was such a fun video. Let me know if you want to see more of these crazy weird products that will never come out in English. But most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Until next time, I'll see you then.